So we are in historic Cumberland, Maryland. This is Western Maryland. It was the center of commerce. At one point, the second largest city in Maryland next to Baltimore. It was an outpost for George Washington during the French and Indian War. It was also the point of emigration during westward expansion here in the United States. But being one of the main commerce areas of Maryland, there's a lot of history here. A lot of wealthy people have come through here. Here's a mosaic. Bald and bankrupt would love this. It's Diana. You're right. Kind of just a, a quick stop before we keep going on to West Virginia, but really wasn't expecting Cumberland, Maryland to be so beautiful with its architecture. But there are a couple more historical points here. There's an old canal that was quite prominent. Um, George Washington, I said first, his outpost was here during the French and Indian War. So his cabin here is still around here designated as a historical landmark. We're gonna check that out real quick before we leave. And then Washington Street is lined with all the original business owners, homes and mansions here in Cumberland, Maryland. So we'll get some footage of that. So across the river here is actually the railroad that takes you to Washington, D.C. It's one of the stopping points between D.C. and the Chicago Rail. Amtrak will take you all the way. And behind us here is actually George Washington's outpost during the French and Indian War. So Deanna, we kind of stumbled across Cumberland, Maryland. What are your thoughts on uh, the town? Uh, it's unexpectedly beautiful. I love the red brick buildings. Um... In a quarter mile, turn left onto South Lee Street. So Washington Street, this street is where the wealthier people of Cumberland, Maryland once lived. Um, unfortunately, right now, Cumberland is kind of suffering a heroin epidemic currently but you can see around here it's it's still very pretty um, the architecture never leaves and some of these houses are just beautiful kind of reminds me of once again Williamsport Millionaires Row um, similar type of architecture a lot of brick really beautiful old buildings scenic scenic buildings and it looks like it kind of continues you go down here you know, you go down here these houses so antique in a way really pretty Turn left onto South Lee Street. after walking past a couple dicey characters on the way over here I really wasn't expecting this but this is nice this is... once again some charm here in Cumberland Maryland always fun when you're traveling the roads of the United States this bridge is closed so I gotta wind back and see you guys in West Virginia